Hello everyone, and welcome to the third Train Sim World pack review. This week, I'll undertake a detailed analysis of the London Commuter DLC, released as part of Train Sim World 2 Rush Hour in October 2021. As with all previous episodes, the structure of this video is as follows. Information, route, rated out of 15 points, rolling stock, out of 10 points, and realism, out of 5 points, for a total of 30 possible points. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I respond to all of them. A quick disclaimer here, I did use ChatGPT to compile some of this data. I've sifted through it all to eliminate as many inaccuracies as possible, and trust me, there were a lot. However, some parts are still a bit vague. I use ChatGBT just because I'm a bit short on time, and it's actually a very good way of compiling research from multiple sources, because it's just a scraper that's scraping for what you've asked it to have a look at. But you've got to be careful, because it does throw up a lot of incorrect information. Anyway, London Commuter is the name of this pack, but the actual infrastructure is the Brighton Main Line, to Victoria only. The Brighton Main Line is a railway line in southern England that runs between London, Victoria and Brighton. The line is a major commuter route serving the suburbs of London and the cities of Croydon, Lewis and Brighton. It also carries intercity services to the south coast resorts of Eastbourne, Worthing and Bognor Regis. It has undergone numerous upgrades over the years, including third rail electrification at 750 volts DC in the early 20th century, and more recently the addition of modern signalling systems and track improvements to increase capacity and reliability. Today, the Brighton Main Line is one of the busiest rail lines in the country, carrying hundreds of thousands of passengers every day. Despite its importance, the line has faced challenges such as overcrowding, delays and capacity constraints, leading to ongoing investment and improvement efforts by network rail and TOCs. The Brighton Main Line is operated by several train operating companies, and the types of train that run on this line, and their operators and information about them, include Southern Railways, Southern operates the majority of commuter services between London, Victoria and Brighton, as well as other destinations along that line, using a fleet of Class 377 EMUs, or electric multiple units. Thameslink Thameslink operates long distance services between North London, Croydon and Brighton, as well as other destinations along the line, using Class 700 Desiro City trains. Gatwick Express Gatwick Express operates non-stop services between London Victoria, Gatwick Airport and occasionally Brighton using class 387 EMUs. The types of trains operating on the Brighton mainline may also vary on the operator, the route and the time of day. The line also accommodates freight trains and occasionally heritage trains for special events. London Commuter comprises the Brighton Main Line, an approximately 50 mile long line from London Victoria Station through Battersea, Clapham, Croydon, Haywards Heath and Brighton, as well as the Rygate branch from Redhill to Rygate, which is only one stop. From Victoria all the way to Three Bridges, the line is predominantly quadruplicated, with some sections even more than this near junctions. South of Three Bridges, the line doubles, with bi-directional signalling allowing much higher operational flexibility. The route caters for upwards of 15 trains per hour in and around Victoria and Clapham, meaning there is lots of diversity. It also covers a great variety of backdrops, inner city London, its suburbs, Gatwick Airport, the countryside, and south of that the coastal resort town of Brighton. There are many entering and exiting lines scattered around, one of which the player can access for one additional stop at Rygate, as previously mentioned. Yards can also be found at Victoria, Clapham, Selhurst, Three Bridges and Brighton, 
although the yards at Victoria and Clapham and at the moment three bridges are currently inaccessible. The play styles this route creates, metro style service alongside intercity and regional service, allows for great diversity with some diagrams stopping frequently and not exceeding 45 miles an hour and some racing to Brighton at 90 miles an hour for most of the way. Due to this intense variation and subsequent interest generated, I award this route a 14 out of 15, only falling short due to performance hits on certain machines and consoles. The base stock for this add-on consists of the BR Class 377 in Southern Green livery and the BR Class 387 in Gatwick Express red livery. Only having these two Electro Stars initially seems disappointing, however this route nowadays only supports these trains as well as Thameslink's Class 700s in most circumstances. These Class 700s are rumoured to be in the works, and Dovetail have allocated some empty slots to allow these trains to run on this route in the future with little to no timetable alterations. On top of this, the pre-existing Class 377s were completely reworked with better textures, additional functionality, and most importantly, new Armstrong powerhouse sounds, which inject so much more life into the pack. These two trains provide the player with nearly 1,000 drivable services covering inner city workings and regional expresses, catering for each player. Adding to these base trains, there are incredible layer options. If a player owns any southeastern high speed variant, they will get the class 375 AI traffic on the eastern side of Victoria Station, as these trains head towards the southeast's Chatham mainline and London suburban lines and also get some diversion services accessible to the player along the main line from Redhill to Croydon. The diesel class 166 from Great Western Express features drivable services from Rygate to Gatwick via Redhill involving a turn back and subsequent cab changeover at Redhill. The class 66 has freight runs along various parts of the line as well. The Class 313 also has empty coaching stock runs from Lovers Row Depot in Brighton to Selhurst Depot north of Croydon. On top of this there are AI only runs for the Class 465 out of Victoria and HST at Clapham. On top of this there is a static Gronk Class 09 at Brighton. Due to all of these drivable and AI services accommodated by the two base trains and the extensive layers and possible future stock, I rate the rolling stock for this route a 5 out of 5. The route includes many nifty features that breathe so much more life into the add-on. Simple things like PIS screens on platforms, calling at information inside the trains, and high passenger amounts and planes landing and taking off at Gatwick. The remastered sounds and high quality textures add yet more immersion. The sheer number of services makes one feel like they are actually on the route, although this can toll heavily on low end PCs and consoles in the form of intense stutters and even crashes in the worst case. Some signalling quirks such as approach control or diverging aspects are also not present, and some teething issues are yet to be addressed. Ergo, I give this add-on a far out of 5 for realism. The points I have awarded to this pack amounts to 28 out of 30, meaning this route is an excellent choice for any player who enjoys UK routes and wishes to spice up their library, provided they have a powerful enough machine that is. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it or found it useful in some way, and if you have, please consider subscribing. I am working on more of these videos as well as other, more regular content. If you believe I have made an oversight in my comments, please let me know.